Welcome, this is John Brewer from johndavidbrewer.com and journeytosixfigures.com. Today, we're going to talk about three cheats to great copywriting, a few secrets to killer copy. Now, the whole point of this article is to know how to win at copywriting. First, you got to know what is the goal of copywriting. And the ultimate goal to copywriting is to get someone to take an action. That's the whole point. Now, there's three cheats that I'm going to share with you today on how to do that. The first is use swipe files. You're going to see great copywriting throughout all mediums, uh, modems, and uh, different various areas. Um, my suggestion is that you create swipe files from which you can garner information, garner ideas, and suggestions. <coughs> Excuse me. I do recommend that you not steal from other people, okay? You're not going to steal. You're going to take their ideas. Yes, you're going to keep a copy of them, but when you take that idea, you're going to tweak it to the way you want to use it, that it fits with what you're trying to get across. But using a swipe file is one cheat that I recommend. Number two, you're going to want to use urgency in your writing. Um, and then we'll go into that a little bit more in detail. The third and final one is you want to use stories. People love stories. And we'll kind of go into that and to why they love stories here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get into it and uh, see what we got. For swipe files, <clears throat> copywriting is always done in chunks. If you ever look at a sales letter, you can actually see different chunks to that letter. And by containing a swipe file, you can actually throw your swipe file into these different chunks and then just kind of pull out of those, those swipe files and put together a sales letter and tweak it and make it your own, of course. Like I said, no cheating, no, no uh, copywriting. <laughs> Funny uh, play on words there, but uh, no stealing of other people's information. You want to use their ideas and make them your own by writing them in your own words. Now, what kind of swipe files do you want to keep? Copywriting comes in many different forms. Emails is one of those. Email marketing is huge. So having a swipe file for emails is the best way to really create killer, um, uh, killer emails and killer email sequences, by the way. Sales letters, I've already mentioned. Um, landing pages, you know, you're, you're wanting people to take action. Landing pages is vital to most list building because you're wanting to get people to give you their name and email address or just their email address, whichever way you go. And having a swipe file of great e uh, landing pages will help you do that. And like I said, you really want to keep a swipe file of everything you come across. If you quotes, uh, headlines, call to actions, bullet points, I mean, whatever you find that you really like, keep a swipe file of it so that you can use it in your copywriting. But most importantly is your headlines and your call to actions because your headlines are what pull people into that, that letter or that email or the landing page. And the call to action is what gets them to take the action that you want them to take. So get a good healthy swipe file of headlines and call to actions and you'll be golden. Now number two as I said was urgency. Using urgency in your um, in your copywriting. You want them to, to take action right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, you want them acting right now. You don't want them to wait. You don't want them to think about it because if they think 
they're not going to take the action that you want them to. Uh, some people seem to feel that using urgency is manipulative, but really let's think about it. If they're not acting, they're stagnate. And if they're stagnant, that means that they're going to fail in whatever they are doing and you want them to succeed. That's the reason why you're copywriting, why you're creating that, that letter or that landing page or that email is you want them to take action right now and succeed because anybody that has success is going to continue to come back to you because you help them succeed. And so urgency is very vital and very important. Uh, as I said, life gets in the way. Um, people, if they let life get in the way, then they're never going to move beyond where they're at. Now here's a couple of examples on creating urgency. Uh, limits. What kind of limits am I talking about? Quantity, you know, like, hey, a limited quantity available. You know, only 20 people get access to this training. And at 20 people, we're cutting it off. You know, that's a limit. Uh, time. Uh, launches are usually done over a seven-day time frame. Uh, you could have a price uh, benefit. Say, hey, if you buy within these three days or these seven days or whatever it is, and voila, they're, they're going to have... Uh, a, a great discount and last would be a price you know maybe you're you're setting a price uh, for two weeks or a month and say hey you can get it at this price after that it's going down price is one that you really want to use emphasis on the closer it gets to the point of the price going up um, unless it's a dime sale of course dime sales happen after every sale and they go up and up and up and then of course you're you're saying, hey, look, you know, if you if you don't buy this now, the price is going to go up. It's on a dime sale. Boom. You know, most people are going to go, wait a minute, I don't want to pay more. I'll, I'll pay now. So price is another example. Our third uh, secret to great uh, copywriting is stories. Why do we tell stories in copywriting? For simple reasons, we use it to build rapport connect emotionally with our readers because we're, we're creatures of emotion. We act upon our emotion. Even though we're logical, we act on our emotions and then we use logic to justify those emotional actions. Um, we tell stories to make a point. And then finally, we, we give an example. And <clears throat> I've actually used some mini stories uh, in this article right here. If you go back and look, I, I've told you a little bit about well, possibly using a um, price limits or something to that effect. You, you'll see the examples that I've given. And those are small mini stories. They're not really huge. You don't have to create a 10-page story to, to, uh, to tell something. You want them to be short and concise as much as possible, but still build that rapport, still connect emotionally with the person, make a point and give an example. And with stories, there's this three three-step process that I use. Step one is, what is the purpose of the story, okay? Um, if you don't know the purpose of the story, then don't use it because it, it won't make sense. So what is the purpose of your story? Step two, choose a story that suits your purpose. You know, talking about dogs uh, in, a, in, a, in a business sales letter really won't go over very well unless you're trying to teach a metaphor or something and, and the dog is is the character teaching the story. I don't know. That's just my example here. You want it to match your purpose. And then step three is you really want to engage your readers. Uh, the story, you want them to kind of be pulled into that and, and that's what the story is there for is to engage those readers. Now in conclusion, to win at copywriting, you need to have the swipe files, as I said. You want speed, uh, urgency. You got to put urgency in there. You want them to buy now, okay? And you want to use stories. You want to relate to the person and you want to teach them. That's what you need. <clears throat> now, I've created a product to kind of help you in all of this. It's called Ultimate Newbies Templates. And what it is, is it's, it's a con compilation of several different templates, three, three different sales letters, three different product outlines, and 25 product titles. I've also 
added some swipe files to help you out. One of those is 27 hot buttons to sales writing, okay? Awesome, awesome, awesome tool there. And the, the second one is 101 writing idea generators. So things to help you generate ideas of what to write about, what stories to use, what products to create, a really good swipe file there. And I've also put in some checklists to help you build a product uh, from the ground up and also to write your sales letter to help sell your product. So that's included in there. And then finally, there's two different trainings. Uh, one is on how to properly research a product. Right there, that alone, uh, most people can't even put together a great product. That, that report right there will help you uh, blow your product out of the water and, and create a stellar high value product. And then uh, this article was actually based off of the last training, which was three copywriting helps for every sales piece. Um, I kind of gave some snippets here in this article, but that right there will help you flesh it out and give you more ideas and more training on how to do it. Um, and actually there's one more and that's 27 ways to use content to get sales. Um, once you've made the initial sale, you're going to want to get that buyer to buy from you again as soon as possible. And I've created a training on 27 ways to use content to get sales. You really, really want to pick up this item. Uh, I've thrown in some bonuses. I'm going to kind of leave it up to you to go check it out uh, to find out those bonuses. But I can tell you this, that the price is way undervalued um, to what you're getting. Uh, All together, you're getting many, many pages of content. And you just want to go and get your copy at Ultimate Newbie Templates. This is Three Cheats to Great Copywriting, and I'm John Brewer with johndavidbrewer.com and journeytosixfigures.com.